Hello, my name is Mickey Figueroa. I'm the owner of Best Motor Works and Sports in Gainesville, Florida. Our shop has specialized in repairing and rebuilding European automatic transmission for over 15 years. In this part two of our series of ZF 6HP automatic transmissions, we'll discuss common failure modes. Although these failures often result in internal repairs, the good news is that these transmissions can be saved through proactive measures. As long as we don't have fault codes, there is hope. Typically, once gear ratio, monitor, and DTCs have set, internal repairs or unit replacement is usually required. As described in video one, regularly monitoring your customer's EGS adaptation numbers will help prevent imminent failures. Using scan data, we can proactively identify issues by examining the rate at which the adaptations are increasing over time. The two most common failures I see are separator seal and e-clutch. Example one, let's analyze the data supporting a failed separator seal. As you can see in this exploded view, a small profile gasket seals the mechatronics unit to the transmission case. This seal plays a critical role in transferring the fluid pressure from the pump to the working components. An aging or leaking separator seal will reveal itself as high adaptation numbers on all clutches and we'll show you in a moment. In my years of service in these six HPs, at least six out of 10 units will fail due to low pressure or fluid loss because of a bad separator seal or external leaks. As fluid leaks past the seal, it causes multiple transmission problems and eventual transmission failure. The seal can also crack. When this happens, the transmission will immediately go into safe mode and the car is not drivable. The vehicle shouldn't be driven in limp home mode. Let's talk about what happens when the seal begins to deteriorate. In this condition, the transmission doesn't realize the seal is leaking. The only thing it knows is that there is an excessive slippage based on the input and output speed monitoring. In this situation, adaptation pressures increase to compensate for the pressure loss at the seal. As described in the first video, it is important to note that the unit does not use a direct pressure measurement via a pressure sensor, but rather infers pressure through a combination of RPMs and calibrated electronic dampening solenoids or EDSs. Pressures are determined as a function of temperature and RPM. So as the transmission ages and wears, the only recourse the unit has is to increase adaptation values or pressures to compensate for the losses. It does this by electrically increasing the amperage to each EDS. Let's look at the data for a seal that we suspect is leaking. You all can see that all the clutches are reporting high adaptation figures. By comparing the limits in the shard to the actual scan tool values, we can see that we have some big issues. Out of the five clutches, two of them, clutch B and clutch E, are double the adaptation limit. This means that clutches are forced to adapt to compensate for pressure losses. Here's our adaptation values after we have completed the repair of the separator seal, serviced the ATF, and adapted the transmission using the specific ZF road test procedure. As you can see, all of our clutches values are now within range. This vehicle has 101,000 miles on the clock, so somewhere is to be expected, hence the slightly high adaptation values at clutch A and clutch D, or first gear clutches. That covers our separator seal diagnosis using scan tool data. To recap, this failure condition could have been spotted early on and corrected by proactively keeping an eye on the EGS adaptation data. Now let's look at e-clutch failure. Example two, let's analyze the data supporting an e-clutch failure, our second most common repair. Most common fault codes for these conditions are 4F84 or 4F85, ratio monitoring gear fourth and fifth respectively. In other words, the gear ratio expected for fourth or fifth gear was not achieved under those conditions because the e-clutch slipped on that gear. When these codes are present, the transmission defaults into limb home mode. E-clutch is by far the smallest of all five clutches, and by design the most likely to develop pressure losses because of wear in the pump bushing. In limb home, only fifth gear is available, 
which further exasperate the situation. Think of it as a manual transmission taking off in fifth gear. At this point, chances are good that this unit will require internal repairs to the e-clutch. You can verify your diagnosis by clearing adaptations and following a relearn test drive procedure. If the e-clutch is compromised, the transmission will fail the relearn test drive. These two failures we discussed account for about 80% of the repairs I do on these units. By practicing proactive measures, these failures can be avoided in most cases. Do your customer a favor and make EGS data recording part of your inspection too. Thank you for joining us. Make it Figueroa from Best Motor Works in Gainesville, Florida.